what do you suggest as far as uh, milk frequency throughout the day? To gain muscle size, if you want to have amino acidemia in your blood, meaning I want to have the highest levels of amino acids in my blood at least every four hours, remember that. Okay, chrono nutrition. Travis, that, one, that is one of the best questions I ever have from any trainer. I call it chrono nutrition. Why? Because you change people's works out but people don't change the way they eat, correct? So you're telling me, I'm gonna change your workout every month or every week or whatever, but I'm not gonna change the way you work out or you eat that day? Absolutely makes an absolute difference. I mean, chrono nutrition is, is, it is a secret, okay? When do you wanna consume the most calories? Which calories do you wanna consume? When do you wanna eat? Those are questions that we didn't discuss, but let me give you an example. Fasting. Do you, can I talk about fasting a little bit or not, Travis? Yeah, yeah, 100%. Okay. What is the longest fasting period ever documented on the literature? Do you know, Travis? Or does anybody know? No, 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 no. Like How long has, what was the longest time of fasting on a person ever done? Only drank water and mineral multivitamins. Do you guys know? This guy went 386 days of fasting. He started at 484 pounds. He ended up at 182. Five, he kept this for five years. This guy had diabetes. This guy can barely move. He agreed that he was going to do it. They put on water. He, he drank only water and he drank electrolytes like a, a multivitamin. Okay, and he had some fats, supplements. Absolutely fasted for 396 days, okay? That is very impressive, okay? I couldn't do that, okay? I, initially, actually, the guy documents how he felt like really crappy, you know, fat, and then after the 17 or 18 day, he was like, oh my God, I had energy, you know, but he had, he had a lot of reserve, as you can see that. Now, when do I want to consume most of my calories? People tell you in the morning, absolutely depends. When I'm working out, what is my goals, okay? Now, do I skip breakfast? Sometimes I skip breakfast because I'm fasting on purpose. I want to lose weight quickly, and I might use one or two fasting days there. Why? Because I want to add those hours to my time. Is it good to eat breakfast? There's a couple of papers out there on the paleo diet that they say that you should eat carbohydrates with your breakfast or whatever. No, that is one meal that I absolutely do not allow people to have carbohydrates. Unless, unless I'm building lean body mass. Because if I only eat proteins in the morning, okay, and most people will do that, they will only eat proteins in the morning, okay, but they don't eat fat with it, then their body will burn freaking proteins. You must use fat or carbohydrates as your fuel so proteins are left alone to build muscle. So if you're gonna eat an egg in the morning, and most people do this, if, if I'm correct, they go, oh, oh, I'm gonna eat my egg whites, right? That's what they always do, Travis, true or false? Because I don't wanna eat fat. I wanna beat the hell out of them. I wanna beat the shit out of them, actually. Well, you're teaching your body, yes, I'm gonna eat protein, but I'm gonna burn them. Eat the egg, God is awesome. God invented the damn egg, dude. Freaking eat the whole egg, okay? Eat the fat because you teach your body, yes, I'm gonna have, you know what? My breakfast, I told you Friday, was two eggs, with like, I can't remember how much bacon and seven sausages, okay? But only two eggs. Yes, I did have protein, but it was, it was mostly fat. Now, Saturday, my wife made me chili, okay? What? Well, that, those, those are my breakfast. Thursday, I had um, onions, olive oil, and a steak, and I put coconut oil on top of that, okay? So, 
someday I'm not gonna be able to eat like that because I don't have teeth or whatever, but I'm gonna eat as much fat and as much as I can. Is it important to eat? Yes, because I'm teaching the body to burn fat because I break fast. I broke the fast on my fasting, so I'm eating something. So instead of eating carbohydrates, and I'll teach, that's what people eat, the cereal in the morning, okay? I eat my carbohydrates, so the body, oh, I already, I already know that it's gonna, I'm gonna bring carbohydrates. Also, Travis, I want you to learn this. A bad carbohydrate or a bad breakfast affects you for 12 hours, okay? A good breakfast and a bad lunch only affects you for four hours. So talking about timing of meals, absolutely. It is very important also post-workout treatment. Most people tell you to have proteins after. It depends what you're doing, but you wanna have immediately, if I'm doing my set curls, I'm curling right now, I'm curling, and I drop my weight there, I wanna have as much free form aminos as I can. I wanna go into aminoacidemia immediately because I don't wanna lose weight, I don't wanna lose my muscle. An hour later, I'm gonna pound the food. Then I'm gonna have some carbohydrate. Then I'm gonna have some fat, depending, but I'm gonna have some carbohydrate. Now, are the amount of carbohydrates as insane as the 100 grams, the 200 grams, the 60 grams? Absolutely not. The research show, Travis, that was, and I, this is almost, you need between 10 and 15 grams of carbohydrate to, to keep lean body mass or add lean body mass depending if you have amino acids to that. So the average person out there only needs between 10 to 15 grams post-workout to induce the body to be able to continue gaining lean body mass. Don't forget that. Now, the studies were done with whey, amino acids, or whatever, but that was the average need of carbohydrate. Now, I know that they tell you you need 400, and you need because, because you're a marathon runner, blah, 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 bullshit. You don't even need that. The best marathon runners are the ones that eat a lot of fat because they use fat when they, when they run. The carbohydrate loading, yes, because the last search of speed, I wanna have carbohydrates, you wanna have fat. Almost everything marathon running that I have is doing absolutely excellent, but for me, it's so hard to change the diet because they drink Gary, they drink carbohydrates. I gotta, I gotta drink carbohydrates. Of course, that gives you bursts of energies, but what keeps your energy going the whole time? Fat, you are burning fat constantly. Your heart uses 99% fat because our heart also uses taurine and glutamine as a fuel source. Remember that, and that's very important, Travis. Any other questions?